All right, we're going to uh, situate the camera here. Uh, this is uh, wrapped quite tightly with um, plastic saran wrap type uh, packaging, so we're going to take that off here. Uh, still unclear as of the time I'm doing this video is exactly how this uh, seller in China um, obtained uh, these receivers um, according to answers that he provided to me um, the questions during my communications. He said these were uh, in a warehouse in China and that they were basically no longer needed by uh, the company that he, I guess, he worked for, or the company that he was selling these for, uh, and therefore they became available from the warehouse. It's quite we're tightly wrapped for the trip. Try not to rip the box itself here. Let's do this unboxing. Um, as uh, Watkins Johnson uh, collectors and enthusiasts know, these these receivers are uh, pretty much never seen uh, in kind of new condition in a box, which is uh, why we're doing this uh, unboxing exercise for you today. Uh, you can see the uh, writing on the side a little more clearly again. It's marked CCPH, um, serial number of the receiver there, 8711A on the side. All right, take that off there. All right, plastic's off here. Alright, uh, right, we're going to go to the uh, top of the box here first. Turn it around. box open and pick the camera up here and uh, show you what we got all right so I'm gonna kneel down here and uh, give you a little close-up camera strap is out of the way all right so right here on the top uh, you can see the uh, BAE systems with the 700 Quinn's Orchard Road Gaithersburg Maryland uh, address this is the original manual for the receiver with an April 2000 uh, date on the manual Okay, I'm going to take a picture of that. Take some stills while we're doing the video. And then we're going to take the manual out. 
uh, under the manual is test data in a BAE systems envelope 8711A with the serial number of the receiver. And the test data plus the BAE systems warranty card with a 4.09 P7A1 Rev B uh, on the bottom of that. All right. And these tests. Test, final test results for this receiver performed by T33, I guess that means technician number 33. Um, the date on this is April 9th, 2002. And here are all the uh, results of those tests. So I'll put those back in. Put that aside. You can see the uh, styrofoam inserts. And on the side we have BAE Systems envelope. Uh, and this contains the line cord. Uh, according to this, three fuses, uh, four feet for the receiver, and one terminal block. And these, of course, terminal blocks are kind of hard to get these days. Uh, let me put the camera down momentarily and we'll be right back as I open this up. All right, we're back again having opened this uh, plastic case here. So we've got the uh, power cord. And what does appear to be four feet, uh, rubber plastic feet for the receiver and the hard to get terminal block right here in the package. All right, uh, put this back down. All right, uh, now we've taken the manual and the accessories pack out uh, of the box. Well, unbox the receiver itself take some of these styrofoam pieces out and I'll readjust the camera here so I can see what's going on so from all appearances from the top of the receiver the receiver looks like it's in perfect condition. Uh, can't see any scratches at all on the top of this. Going to lift it out. Uh, forgot to mention the uh, CD. BAE Systems uh, CE a BAE system CD containing probably the manual and uh, other other uh, details. And let's see here. We're gonna carefully take the receiver out. See, there's what it looks like in the uh, plastic. Off. 
and uh, there we go. If you can see that, and adjust the camera here. So there you go. Um, at first glance, seemingly just brand new, brand new WJ8711A. Everything looks intact. All knobs. Let's take the camera. Rack handles, everything looks to be in perfect condition. Uh, labels on top, uh, customer service, 811-800 number, etc. Around the back. And... See the back of this uh, has the Watkins Johnson um, label right here. There are, there is no pre-selector installed here. Um, 8711A, still WJ with the BAE systems. Uh, tag 8114. Get some close-ups here. Take another couple sh still shots here. And turn this around. And take another still here. All right, so uh, there you go. Um, that's probably uh, quite a rarity to see a Watkins Johnson 8711A later production under BAE uh, in new in box condition. Again, this came from a Chinese seller. Um, it's still puzzling as to, you know, the question is where, uh, how these things ended up in a warehouse somewhere in China and, um, you know, how the seller got a hold of them. So uh, there you go. Uh, put that in the history books uh, for WJ fans, owners, collectors, users. Uh, WJ8711A, this is uh, in 2022 for a receiver that was manufactured or at least tested in 2002. So that's a couple decades ago. Thank <laughs> you.